So the first thing we do is uh, have a tool that pops up in the back of the Xbox housing and there's these little um, clips that you have to push in. Um, and this, this is like a specific tool just for this Xbox. And once we open it, we can uh, like pop it from the other side. <clears throat> so then uh, if we lift this top, we will see the inside. And it was nice. This one, um, this one's pretty clean on the inside. So uh, you can tell it's, it's pretty clean. So we'll remove the motherboard and um, well, I can just hold it by its heat sink there. So we'll set it aside and, and put this frame, uh, put this frame to the side for just a second. So um, we'll want to remove these two aluminum uh, heat sinks. And uh, the, the first smaller one is for the graphics. And um, you could see the thermal paste on there, the, the like transfer goo, that's, um, it's pretty old. So we want to scrape it off because it's, it's obviously been, you know, almost, almost 10 years, um, you know, 13, 14 years since this has been manufactured. So we're going to reapply this uh, thermal transfer paste. So as soon as that's um, scraped off, you, it, it really gets uh, kind of stuck on there. And these, the, the chips are the graphics processor and the central processor uh, or CPU. And once, once you're, you're able to scrape it off, you can, you can even see the Microsoft logo there. Um, but I was able to get it pretty clean with uh, both the graphics processor um, and the, the, the GPU. This larger uh, aluminum heat sink, I'm going to replace with uh, one of the older ones that's copper, so it's full copper. And uh, obviously we know that copper transfers heat and electricity better um, than aluminum. So I have a copper heat sink for actually both the central processor and the graphics processor. So uh, here's the one for the, for the graphics processor and it has a little copper, copper heat pipe to dissipate the heat away from that chip. And this is the problem um, that you hear uh, red ring of death, um, you know, or, or uh, what Xboxes would have the red rings. Um, it's because these chips would overheat. So if you put a copper heat sink, they're less liable to overheat. So um, the transfer paste needs to go on both of these. Uh, so the, it's, it's called heat transfer paste. And it's, um, it's basically just a gel that is rated to transfer heat away from the chip. So... Um, you know, we put pressure on the copper to squeeze it down as close as possible, but there's still a little bit of an air gap between the chip and the, the heat sink so that the cop because the copper isn't perfectly touching. So we put that gel in on there. And so we're going to put it back in the frame, uh, with, with both the, the copper, uh, heat sinks. And instead of plugging the fan directly into the, to the, uh, fan header, I, um, Actually, there's a modification that uh, works pretty well. If you find, uh, this is the cable for uh, the DVD drive, uh, the, you know, the disk drive. And if we plug that in, uh, I'll, I'll be able to show you. So there's, there's where it plugs into the motherboard. And the wire that comes off of the, the first and second wire here, uh, it comes off with 12 volts. Um, so normally the fan will run at 5 volts, but these two wires give off 12 volts, which will mean that the fan will go a lot faster and um, obviously it'll keep it a lot cooler. So we'll instead plug this one in, and you see that it plugs into the motherboard, and then the fan plugs into it. So then for the rest of this little Xbox's life, it'll have uh, the fans running at 12 volts instead of 5 volts. So this is the data connector for the disk drive. We'll put that back and we'll, we'll put the drive back in and uh, make sure that everything's uh, plugged into that drive. So the drive and the motherboard do need to match. They need to be the exact same ones um, because uh, they've, you know, Microsoft has made it so that you can't fake the drive. So that, that little modified wire to make it a 12-volt fan just, get, just goes into that little gap right there. 
this the the front of this is going to be uh, gold, and I'll show you why the front of it's gold. The um, the Xbox 360 came out with a Halo 3 edition, and I'm a big Halo fan. So as you can see, this one's this one was manufactured in 2007, so it has one of the older motherboards that had a lot of heat problems. But uh, this frame, this green frame, is uh, is one of the Halo 3 edition um, shells. So I'm putting what could be considered the most optimum uh, hardware inside one of the older uh, kind of historic Xboxes that have that, that Halo 3 shell. So the, the, the front goes on together and everything is, is uh, gold and green. So here's the hard drive and it's a, it's a gold Halo 3 hard drive. So it's like a gold plated Halo 3 hard drive that, that we put on the top there. And then the front is the last piece that we'll put together and that is uh, that completes the outside shell so the only thing left for us to do is to test it out so um, we'll we'll take it over to the screen and uh, plug it in and turn it on and it looks like uh, the video will start working and there we go so yeah, it works really well, and I really appreciate you guys for um, making this happen. Um, I'm happy to have uh, one more uh, in my little collection here. I have, uh, I now have four um, of this this motherboard type manufactured after September 2009, uh, put into the Halo 3 frames.